about it. If you if you have a kid in the first grade and you want to and you want to condition him to be a good American, would you want him to have white crayons? No, because the first thing he's going to do is he's use the white to color in clouds. Now, why would why would a just God make a cloud white? Why? What does he want? White privilege even in the sky? You should make it a rainbow cloud. The colors of Benetton. That's the kind of clouds we need. And I think if Obama really wanted to show that he cares about equality for all, he would talk to God, who obviously he's on equal terms with, and he would tell God to make certain that the clouds are, uh, let us say, no longer purely white. Because it's offensive to others. And the small children are hurt that they have to use a white crayon to paint white clouds. And then while you're at it, the snowmen. I mean, let's no longer ever have snowmen. You cannot have snowmen, because look at that. That's offensive. Isn't a snowman offensive, Robert? Doesn't hurt the feelings of certain children to see a snowman made of snow? I mean, really, you gotta, you got to have reality now. Let's face reality. Snow is offensive. Clouds are offensive. And while you're at it, Mr. Obama, the White House, I mean, forget about it. Do a hashtag on that one. I think you need to repaint the White House. That is so utterly offensive. I mean, it was built, as you well know, during the age of white dominance in America. And so it's time to change it from the White House to the something house and change the color, for God's sakes, like uh, painted purple. That would go along with your presidency. The color purple, that's the color of the White House. Got to make it appealing to a, to a larger audience. You don't want to offend people. I think about everywhere I look now, you know, I'm really offended. My paper that I write on, it's white. Look at this. I got to get rid of it. I don't want to be seen as a racist in any way. I buy reams of paper for my copy machine, white. Why is it white paper? Who came up with that? I really don't understand this. Who created all of this? Look at this. I want to paint. I have to paint on white paper. Who said so? Why can't I paint on dark paper? Why can't I buy a pack of paint, uh, the, the, uh, paints, for example, with, with dark paper for my watercolors? You get. I mean, this is how crazy liberalism has become. This is how insane it is. It's beyond George Orwell. Teddy, I want to tell you this. If George Orwell were alive today, he'd be on Prozac. He would not be able to take what this country has become under these maniacs who have ruined our society. I need some music, guys. Come on, let's get some music here. Let's get some old rock and roll. I'm what was known in the old days as a tumbler in a way. As smart as I can be, sometimes I just like to entertain people and keep them going in these horrible times. The horrible, horrible times. People are so messed up and so depressed. Is it any wonder they drink to excess? No, it's any wonder they go to Chinese restaurants last night and drink triple martinis twice in a row, as I did. I did last night, I have to admit. I'm doing fine, though. I can drink vodka. It doesn't affect me the next day. Wine, you put it near me, I'm sick for two days. I, I don't understand. It's the congeners in the wine. And the finest wine I get sick from. I can't kick it out of my system. Vodka I like. I just drink it. The trick is no mixer. No juice. The sugar will kill you. Don't be like a kid with the with the uh, the, the vodka and orange juice. That's going to knock you out like crazy. The sugar and it will get you sick. Be a man about your vodka. Be Russian about it. Drink it straight or drink it with it. If you want, you want to be a sissy about it, have some uh, soda water, club soda mixed in with the vodka. You throw in a lime. You throw in a, an olive. That's That's a good thing. You won't get sick. That's if you drink it all. If you're a pothead, forget about it. Just vote for Bernie Sanders and go get some Kentucky Fried Chicken to go with it. I'll be back in a second. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. I'm sorry, Robert. We have to take this out of the archives. And children. This is absolutely offensive, I mean, when you think about it. You know how this marginalizes children who are not of a particular uh, racial orientation? I mean, this is outrageous. I mean, you could just, I'm dreaming of, uh, first of all, take the color out of it and Christmas take out of it. I mean, could, you couldn't edit the, the song. I'm dreaming of a winter. But you got to change Christmas now instead of white. So, I'm dreaming of a winter. Whatever, whatever. Holiday, holiday, holiday. Well, no, no, that has holy in it. Holy implies Christian, because it's the number one religion of the West. You can't have that if you're an atheist who hates yourself and wants to destroy your country. I'm dreaming of a... 
You can't say holiday, winter holiday. What would go with Y.E., Christmas, whatever? But you see the picture how we have to revise all of America. Here's another one for you double-talking phony liberals. Green campaigner Madonna uses her private jet for a 120-mile journey from Birmingham to London. No-brainer for Madonna, who chartered her own airline for a trip home from a Birmingham concert. The, the decision enraged environmental activists who accused the 57-year-old ugly hag of being a hypocrite for increasing her carbon footprint when she herself campaigns to help the climate crisis. Right. Sure. Howard Bono care about the climate crisis. Right, right, right. That's why he's been invited in and out of the White House, because he's such an environmental activist or her. Look, what do you expect from an entertainer? Their brains are drug-addled. You expect them to tell you the truth? I don't know what anyone sees in her. I mean, personally, I find her... And this is a sound misogynist. I like women. I find her very unattractive. She disgusts me. She looks like a toll taker on the New Jersey, New Jersey Turnpike with a guitar. She always has. She looked like one of the lower class toll takers on the on the Jersey Turnpike. How she got this far, I don't know. Does does she does Madonna strike you as a Robert? I'm asking you as a younger guy than me. Has she ever appealed to you? Yet someone I, the people like her. A hypocrite, you understand, with the private jet with the carbon footprint. Like the obnoxious hypocrite Bono, do as I say, not as I do, another said. While in one form it added, she has never given her own hypocrisy a thought. Mad Donna. Another asked male online, on her way to a global warming summit, was she? Like the rest of these celebs preaching hypocrisy. Sick. Another enraged fan wrote, what she really wants to campaign for is only the wealthy can leave their carbon footprints, while the rest of us have to use card horses to travel. I am so angry at this hypocrite. Drawing on Madonna's attempts to help climate change. One of them said, I have seen more green in the sun up there than she is. She thinks that everyone else is green behind the ears. Yeah, she reminds me of someone in the White House right now. Yeah, Obama, another great environmentalist. $70 million for his vacations, right? He's enjoying his Christmas vacation, isn't he? Yeah. The previous year, Madonna you know, produced 440 tons of CO2 in four months. That's good for the vegetation, by the way. Then the idiots don't know that. That CO2 actually produces greenery, all that carbon. They're idiots. They're measuring the wrong, it's the wrong metric of the wrong, of the wrong substance. What are they measuring carbon dioxide for? It's not a, they don't understand that carbon dioxide doesn't cause global warming. Warming produces carbon dioxide. They don't even understand the basics of science. What would you expect from kids who went to the high school of performing arts because they couldn't compete in academia? They become actors and entertainers, which is great. I love actors and entertainers, but I don't turn to them for information or ideas. They're marionettes. They're puppets. Only we worship them in the West like morons. I don't turn to them for ideas or information. It's like asking Woody Allen to explain nuclear physics. He would probably explain it to you thinks he understands it. More than your Uncle Bernie, who has a Ph.D. In, nucleus, in nuclear physics. Whatever, don't get me started on these people. Because I like actors and entertainers. I told you I'm going to L.A. to spend time with actors and entertainers for a movie project I'm working on. <laughs> I do, I'm telling you right now, as it is, I spent three hours today talking to my friend Robert D. 